Yeah, it's that podcast is great because like we can talk about history and shit that's uncomfortable, but because it's in the frame of history, it's like what I'm not I'm not like a whole stuff with like um uh you know when everybody's mad about Christopher Columbus ripped on the statues. Uh. He you know, he did do bad shit, but really I mean he didn't kill as many Native Americans as smallpox. Mm -hmm. That's the truth that people don't want to talk about. It's like the disease killed everybody. The mm -hmm. disease killed mm -hmm. the Native Americans, not the white fucking settlers. Mm -hmm. They they definitely killed some people, well, they, but so did Indians. They, they made a good they made a good tag team. Listen, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying yeah, no. They definitely did. They disease definitely, was killing them, and then and then the white man was like this. Come on, tag me in, tag <laughs> me in, and I'll finish them off. No, but it's like just a, <laughs> the road like, warriors. You know, people love Gandhi. You know, people love Gandhi, and I. It's great, but he also did have twelve year old wives. So yeah, it's like you yeah, can say yeah, what you want about history, and you could fucking blame everything you want. Right. on whatever group you want but the truth is that you're not going to probably like the truth but it's the truth and that makes people uncomfortable so that's the our podcast it, number one it's comedy first it's all about comedy so we lead with comedy but then you're going to learn stuff about history that you can like regurgitate at parties to, mm. to look somewhat yeah. cool honestly I, I figured it out really all you need to know is like two sentences worth of knowledge about everything that's yeah. it that's it all you have to do you know well, like if, I, if you just one percent more knowledgeable about everybody else yeah. on thing, you know. Like I feel like Joe Rogan makes a living off it, where it's like sure. he's, he's so informed enough about everything yeah. that it's like I'll believe you. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, you know. That's what it is. And I mean, I automatically you guys are smart now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like just, they know a little bit more about history than me. So yeah, yeah, Chris, yeah, honest, yeah I, they're I, I know a couple of like famous guy quotes, like yep. famous generals Done. quotes. You just regurgitate Done. those and just be like, that's success it. is not final, failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. <laughs> Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. Blow job. Yeah, I was gonna say. And then they fuck you. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Even when you have chlamydia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it doesn't matter. We're uh, yeah, we're a comedy podcast that does history because we both love history, but we're basically doing the episode with the Wikipedia page. Page yeah. Up, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is yeah. again, that's one all, fan that's called all it takes, us. Man. One fan called us Wikipedia sluts. Yeah, yeah. that was that's who is sure. it? Yeah. But you know what? Have you ever donated to Wikipedia? No, no. They, that's the funniest fucking thing. I love that every year when they're like, "Can we have thirty cents?" I'm like, "Get the fuck, fuck out, out of here. here!" Wikipedia got me do through people, college, got me through high school. I'm like, yeah. "You want a dollar from me?" <laughs> fuck if you. Me, you know, what? I'm gonna go donate to Wikipedia right after this because I'm Yo. starting to feel really. <laughs> really they really, I mean, yeah. that, that, not the Australian who, wildfires. Who who, <laughs> yeah. who actually donates? You think? I mean, they must get it, right? I don't. Yeah. People I have donate. no idea. Yeah, it's they crazy. have to donate. They gotta make it. If they made it easier, I would donate. The reason we don't donate is like I gotta click. I gotta put my information. Yeah, if I can Venmo Wikipedia, then I'll donate. Yeah, just do it with the fucking Apple Pay, boom. Yeah. Apple yeah. Pay. I mean, I just pay for everything. I don't Apple care. Apple Pay is so dangerous. I, I, I just said it up for the count. first time probably like a month ago. Boop, yeah. boop, I have count. no idea how much money is in my bank account. No yeah. idea how much money I spent over the last month. It's what? just like oh, double click life. this. That Let it fly. Yeah. yeah, just here. Scan my face and then take my money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. The uh, what, What's your favorite like uh, history time period? Mine, mine personally. Don't is, say World War II like a fucking no, no. Like I mean, I like basic bitch. I like mm. World War II, but it's the American Revolution, colonial, colonial America, seventeen seventy five area to eight, or like seventeen ninety nine. I fuck, I fucks you, with that. What do you fuck I, with? I really know a lot about that, and I love that. I mean, that part of history is wild. I mean, guys are in you know tights and shoes and wigs. Fighting, um, you know, it's our first kind of, you know, the British come in, George Washington. I mean, it's wild, wild fucking times. Everybody's got fumes and full bush. Wooden, <laughs> wooden <laughs> teeth. Yeah, nobody has teeth. The hygiene isn't really a thing no. yet. It's what, and the lies that we've been told about what the American dream is. It's all based on marketing and it's not real. And the mighty British Empire, none of this stuff that we know is true. <laughs> it's just nice to fucking read it with a I gun in your, your dick mouth. Away, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm, I was reading this book, 1776 by David McCullough, and I just had a fucking gun in my mouth. I had a bayonet like they would use in my throat. I was like, if I read one more lie that I was told, I'm going to let it fly. <laughs> that is the worst part about getting old is when you're like, Wait, everything I learned in middle school is just all lies. Lie. Yeah. It's just like, a lie. It's all just lies. not true. Oh, oh, yeah. It's just, yeah, they just making it up to tell school kids about this. And he's like, oh, when you do the research, you're like, no, that is not a thing at all. And yeah. it's always about, like, like you never, like, the, the crazy one to me was I, I was at a uh, World War II memorial thing uh, over the break as well. And I was just looking at shit and it was like, all about like the evil Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor and killed like eight thousand troops or four thousand troops, whatever it was, and like just like 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 levels of like just like of a whole building sure. about all about how bad it was. And I was like, you guys didn't even mention the two hundred thousand we killed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, yeah. in one in a minute, you didn't even mention like well, you, I feel like if like, you're gonna go four floors worth of Pearl Harbor, you should be like, and this is how we retaliated. Yeah, yeah, Not listen, a great one. When you win the war, you write the you history. Write the thing, yeah. So. yeah, you write the thing. Yeah, I always thought about that. Like when you think about, you hear all those battles, like Alexander the Great, you know, conquering the world. 
and uh, they say that he was like in the front leading his troops. You're going like, was he? Yeah. yeah. Was he really in the <laughs> I front? I wouldn't be. The most yeah. valuable man, the king. No, yeah. was he really? Yeah, like nobody like gets injured in the front. Like the kids in the front are just walking to their death. Yeah. I think yeah. about that all the time. Every time there's like a mas- massive fight scene in a movie and it's just like just Braveheart run. or whatever. I'm like, he couldn't have possibly been in front. No, no you <laughs> just die in a second. No, yeah. you survive in the back. George, that's what I like about colonial Americas because like they, it's kind of a little truth there with like, yeah, George Washington didn't fight. He was at the battles, but way in the back, <laughs> like two miles away with the telescope, just yeah, being going, like, All right, you know, a magnifying yeah. glass, just yeah. being like, yeah, okay, just move that guy over there. Yeah. It's just you could be the baddest ass in the whole world, but if you're just surrounded by chaos, you're going to catch a stray. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're going to catch a knife dead. in the back or a sword 100%. in the back. 100%. Hand to hand with sword. Nobody's limping back with a sprained ankle. Right. Like, it's fucking toughed up, you know? Yeah, it's crazy, it's like those dead. conditions. I slipped in the mud. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Would you rather fight in, like, the trenches of World War One? The colonial time or like uh, like like old like Braveheart time. Trenches of World War One specifically was brutes magoots mm-hmm. because I mean, that, I mean the Agent you, Orange you would get right. Like, well, no, well that, but also like the dug in trenches where like you would die of like um, you know dysentery. Guys yeah. would die like there's um th- there's a great documentary called um We Shall Grow Old I believe it is it's and it's colorized wor- right yeah it's World yeah. War One that's colorized and then and then. You, fa- uh, the, the guys would die. A very common thing: people would die. They would have. They would be so weak, and it, there was no bathrooms. It was just like these latrines, these holes. They would, and they would be rise to the top, and they'd be going to the bathroom or puking and lose energy and drown in, sh- in shit and piss. Oh. That's because they, they couldn't have the energy to get their head out. Dude, Chaps was telling me about like um, Chaps is a marine who works here. And Pussy. He was like, <laughs> no. he was talking about how they had. Like if you meet like a World War One veterans, which obviously there aren't many left. Um, I don't think there's any left. Yeah, I would guess none. Right? World War One. No. Like, I think two is we're winding down on the twos. Yeah. Winding down on the twos. Yeah. The one veterans would have like a lot of times they'd have one finger left. Sure. Because it was and it would be like the pinky or something because they would just their 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 trigger finger would freeze. And they just cut it off. Oh. Yeah. And then they start using this one as a trigger finger one, from yeah. the trenches. Yeah. Next man up. Next that, finger next, up. Boom, next one. Yeah. And and then that's just, uh, fucking uh, ridiculous. They just have Pinky to do coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get some more energy so you don't drown in the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, that's the Nazis. I know World War II shit is hacked, but that's what the Nazi secret weapon was. Pervitane. Oh, yeah, it was crystal pervitin. meth. It was it was modern day crystal mm. meth. They would give the soldiers. That's why a lot of Nazi soldiers, when the war was over and the pervitin effects, because they last a while, they would kind of come to and be like, what did we do? Right. Why yeah. did we do that? Because he was drugging them and making the super soldier. Like Shit. they couldn't be stopped. It was like true Wake fucking up, like, zombies. Fuck, what did we do last night? They hung over. You went like, down six million Jews. Genocide, dude. <laughs> Damn, it was yeah. a rough night. You have Why? never had a hangover that bad. <laughs> that really, like, whenever you have hangover anxiety, it's like, well, <laughs> oh, I feel like, dude, you want it? Could have been worse. It happens, man. You want to get it brought worse? <laughs> 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 Can you imagine, though, fighting out for the American Revolution during the colonial period and, like, you see those kids come with those uniforms, like the, the red, red coats, coats. With, like stockings on. Fucking yeah. idiots. It's a good strategy though, because you like you may hesitate to kill them because you're like, those kids look fucking cute. Yeah. Yeah. Those are cute <laughs> kids. I don't want to ruin that bit. <laughs> Take your shirt off first. That is a well put together <laughs> outfit. Something I learned something interesting about that too, like just Germanic people in general. German people have always been vicious, and I'm German, 50%. Ancestors.com. Mm-hmm. <laughs> German people have always been vicious. The British Army hired the Hessians, they were yeah, called, yeah. and yeah. those are German. They're from Germany. Yeah. And so they were just mercenaries. They were hired to fight and kill Americans. That's what they had no cause in the war. They didn't give a fuck. They were paid to go fight. So they came off the shores at the Battle of Brooklyn. It's the first time you saw them. They came off the shores right where we live in Bay Ridge and started killing American soldiers and then cutting their heads off and skinning their faces and wearing them as masks. Yeah. And the British soldiers who were on their side were like, what Whoa! the fuck are these guys doing? Yeah. They're playing the drums and just, shit. We just wanted to kill them and we're moving up. We're taking territory. Yeah. They're like, happy Halloween. And they're like, yikes. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my high school's built on a Hessian mass grave. So oh, there you go. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, horses, oh boy. horses sure. in there too. Pretty good. Horses sure. in there too. Yeah, or the, yeah. there's that Hessian bloody lake, the bloody lake, where it's like all like the because then the Patriots, American Patriots, started killing them and just throwing them into fucking this lake. I forgot. It's like upstate New York somewhere where it's like a hundred Hessians just at the bottom of the lake. They just <laughs> let them just put rocks on them and let them go. Yeah. And they believe it's a haunted lake, which I believe too. I believe I mean, it goes. That's that's how I learned is. that. I learned that my high school was built on a Hessian uh, mass grave because my hockey coach, who lived on campus, was watching um, a documentary or whatever about the 10 most haunted places in Rhode Island. Yeah. And he, like his fucking house was number one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he's like, what the fuck is oh, yeah. this? All Yo. New England. If you live in New England, it's haunted. But that's where the that's where the Revolutionary War was fought. Yeah. New England, man. Yeah. If we're talking about guys who skinned people's faces and then they died with threw them into the bottom of the lake, that's haunted. Yeah. That's, that's haunted. not a fucking theory. No. That's, that's a fact. Even the Headless Horseman, you know, Ichabod, that's a yeah. story 
of a that's a Hessian soldier. That's yeah. that's based oh, off a Hessian soldier. Yep, yep. The Hessian history are, hyenas, baby. Yeah, the <laughs> Hessians. I didn't know that. I didn't know about them before we started doing the podcast. But they're interesting to learn about because they were of how brutal they were. Yeah. Like if you're in a war. And people are talking about how brutal you are yeah. when, like, everyone's killing everyone. You're like, yeah. you're doing some bad, bad shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're they doing, were th- like, next level violence. They were scared <laughs> to fight. That's why just the presence, if, like, there was a common thing in the Revolutionary War when they would say, when they would, it's interesting, too, because, like, the biggest prize in the Revolutionary War was New Jersey. That's why they call it, like, the Garden State, because it was, like, the Garden of America. And now it's like, that's the first thing I'd give up is New Jersey. I'm like, get the <laughs> no, fuck they, out of here. They got good tomatoes. They, they grow good tomatoes. Good tomatoes <laughs> and corn. Yeah, yeah, but, tomatoes Jersey, and corn. but it's just people from New York and Philly, just depending yeah. on what side of New Jersey yeah. you're on. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, they yeah. could all, if we got rid of New Jersey, people would just move back to Philly or New York. Yeah, that's what it is. If someone comes to Jersey from like outside of the New York or Philly area, they're going, these two sides of people say water really weird. <laughs> yeah. Really different. One says like, water. You want some water? And the other one's like, would you like some water? But you want water? But they would say, like, when the Hessians would come, like the soldiers would put their guns down and run away. Because yeah. it was like, because if you really want to learn American history, like what the truth is, then you have to read the other what side. the other country. Yeah. That's what I do. So the book that I read was about the British point of view, or I've read stuff on the Japanese on World War Two from Japanese and Germans point of view. So you ever read the one? I, I read a full book. I forget what it was from, but it was just like the passage about like the people walking out of like Nagasaki, <laughs> and it was just like the, like their skin just like falling. Oh off yeah, their body. oh that's brutal. That. We didn't have to do. I mean, it, we didn't have to do that, but we did have to do that because they because because if you were gonna the problem why the J- Japanese do not give up. So you right, got to give right. them the, those kids do not give up. They keep fighting. So it was either the options were either kill two million roughly American troops to invade Tokyo that would kill everybody that would we would win it but you're going to cost a lot bomb. of allied troops or kill 300,000 of them with a bomb so that's what Listen, they Listen I'm, I'm I was all for just nipping that in the bud and wrapping that shit up wrap it yeah. up yeah Maybe they not get, two. kept I giving them two but yeah. at least one kept Come giving on. them opportunities and yeah. then they the second one is the bigger problem it's like you didn't really have to yeah. do the second one Maybe it was drop kinda, like different bomb like the, you know, just, one yeah, yeah, a little bit couple one. like you know the second one was the bigger issue the first one people felt like well you're not giving up and you're you the war is lost the second one was up. running up the score. The second yeah. one was, was a little bit like, lap. come on, guy. Like, <laughs> come on, you're up by 30. You're up by 30. It's but just take LeBron in. out. Yeah. 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 It's like in the UFC when the guy's knocked out and then there's that blow that goes on his unconscious face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. yeah. guy is out cold, man. Needed a ref yeah. to run in there. Yeah. to do all that. <laughs> but, you know, we just we just put your whole country in the fucking microwave. I mean, you know, we don't need to do it. You don't need to do it again. You don't need to flip it over the other side and nuke it again. It's hot. The hot pocket is done. Shout out to them, though. Came back fast. Oh my yeah. God! They came back forty years. Right. Yeah, That's I mean, no some problem. of it is from the Marshall Plan that we helped them with, but yeah. you know, but for the most part, yeah, they came back. Yeah, yeah they we came gave back. them baseball and they ran with it. Gave <laughs> them baseball, yeah. 